Let's now take a look at the Adello Express item screen. This screen is going to be seen on every vertical, no matter what is quick service, table service, bar, retail. This is the general item screen. First thing you're going to notice is the wide ticket area across the top. Then this will then start opening up several functions that are easily accessible. We're going to go into those and show you what we got there. And here is where we get to the aspects of all the functions that are easily available start opening up now and showing you all the different features we have and showing you just how strong a feature set the Adelo Express app does have. This is the basic item screen with all our different verticals. So the screen is going to look pretty much the same. So let's talk about this in, in just general form. That is all the features that are here. You do have the items shown across here, and you'll now see why this is such a wide ticket, is that we have a lot of things going on here. This shows that it is a new order. Then you have the, the type of order. In this case, it's dine-in. We have the ability to touch and then drop this down and change the destination status to one of the other uh, destinations. You do have the seat number, which in this case is seat one, but this little blue guy here allows you to touch and add a second guest, third, fourth, and so on, that allows you then to enter the order by seat. To the right here is an item lookup. Most usually it's uh, used in retail, but it is a function that is in all of our verticals. All the items listed are shown across here, starting with the little blue thing on the left. That indicates what seat number this is for. Then, of course, the item description, price, quantity, and total. You touch an item and then functions do come up in that the, the time clock here that shows that you can put this item on hold and fire. Below that on the blue bar allows you to touch that and enter a description or a order command for the kitchen. You can also change the quantity here and on the right hand side the plus button allows you to then access the discounts for that item. Next down is the subtotal, taxes, total, and the balance of this order. The green button allows you to access the discount and the, well, is actually the order info for the entire order. So you're going to get to see the server, what time it was opened, the type of order, number of guests, then the discounts that can be applied, then the gratuities and the surcharges that can be applied, you can put the order on hold or add an, a note for the entire order. All these functions are easily accessed from this portion of the window. I do want to show one other aspect to this in that I'm going to ring up a stake and you'll notice that there are some prompts that get, we have to go through. That is force temperature. So you'll force the server to indicate what temperature for the cook the steak what sauces, and then look at the bottom, you see these two dots, that means there's an extra page. So I'm going to swipe right to left and bring up the extra options and hit total. Now you see one more function, which is a salt and pepper shaker. You touch that and it will allow you then to go back and make changes. So that's the function of the salt and pepper. This is a very functional screen. It allows the server and the operator a great deal of flexibility to enter the order properly before it goes to the kitchen or before you're tendered out. At this point, you can either tender the order or hit the done button. I'm going to hit done button and send it back out.